I've been asked on so many occasions, what is the purpose of a hydrometer? What does it do? How do we use it? I have to say, in my opinion, the hydrometer is one of the most important pieces of equipment in wine, beer and spirit making. The hydrometer will read the gravity of the liquid. It's the only way that we can really accurately test whether a fermentation has finished. So, if we think we've got a bucket full of grape juice and uh, water, whatever combination, we're going to drop a hydrometer in there. Typically, if we're going to make a wine, it's going to be somewhere between 1070 and 1090. 1070, 1090. What we've got is we've got a scale that goes from 990 up to 1000 and then 1010, 20, all the way to 1100. So the scale of the hydrometer will measure the gravity. So as I say, a typical wine will be somewhere between 1070 and 1090. A typical beer, you're going to be around 1045, 1050. And a typical spirit is going to be way over, 1000, uh, way over 1100. When we drop this hydrometer into our liquid, it's going to be sticking well out of the liquid at the start of fermentation. Always important that we take a reading at the start of fermentation. We can then work out the alcohol content at a later stage, but more importantly, we're going to know whether the fermentation is taking place or not. So, we take a reading, say we're making a wine, the reading is 1080. What will happen throughout fermentation is the yeast will convert the sugar into alcohol. As it does that, the gravity will change, and through time, the hydrometer will drop further and further into the bucket. And with a typical wine, we're going to be finishing somewhere between 990 and 1000. We can then work out the alcohol strength of the actual liquid by quite simply taking the start gravity away from the finish gravity. So we're starting at 1080, we drop down to 1000. We've moved 80 points on the hydrometer. All we do is divide that by 7.362 and that will give us our alcoholic content of that particular wine or brew that we've done. So the hydrometer is a really important piece of equipment. There's a trial jar that you can buy as well that goes with it. That obviously makes life a lot easier when you're actually reading. We also have the case that the hydrometer comes in and some people use that. Pour the liquid in, drop the hydrometer in and we take a reading. Now here I've actually got a beer that's just finished and we are going to take a reading on this particular beer. What we're looking for is across the line of the liquid. Now what I always like to do is just give it a quick little spin like that just to make sure there's no bubbles or anything uh, attached to the hydrometer. Now that particular one, as you can see, across the line it's reading 1014, which is perfect for a beer. Um, <coughs> The hydrometer, as I say, most important piece of equipment. I always compare a hydrometer to if you've got a car and you think you need some oil in it, what do you do? You put your dipstick and te test it to see whether it needs any oil. Then you fill the car with oil. You don't just go and put oil in the car because you think you might need some. And the hydrometer is the same with wine. When fermentation is finished, if we take a reading, we know two or three days on the trot, if the reading is still the same, then the wine, beer, liqueur has finished. The other thing that it's very, very useful for, and if ever you've got any problems, if you can always take a hydrometer reading before you contact us, we can give you so much more advice if we know what the start gravity was and what the wine or beer or whatever it is is stuck at if it's not reached the level it should do. So please, most important piece of equipment, they're only about four quid, they're not crown jewels, but they really are worth their money. Thank you.